Perfection might seem like a noble goal, but the truth is, it's a trap. Hey everyone, it's Emily, the Career Catalyst here. I wrote about perfection earlier this week and just kind of how exhausting it is to kind of try to maintain it and to keep everything in your profile perfect and all of that, but I wanted to say more about it today because what you may not know is that I'm pretty intentional about keeping some of my little um, flubs and my slip ups, my little foibles here in my videos. And that's in part because I really don't want to look like anything I'm doing is striving for perfection. In part, it's also a little piece of laziness on my end, but I just don't want you to start to fall into that trap of feeling like everything you do has to be perfect. Now, of course, if you're applying for jobs, there are some things that you want to be very, very good. You want your resume, for instance, to be error free. You want your cover letter to be grammatically correct. You want all of the contact information on your references to be uh, spot on, um, you know, don't have the wrong phone number for someone, that kind of thing. But in general, the pursuit of perfection as we go about a job search is really harmful to us. So I think a lot of us feel pressure around being perfect in an interview. And I understand that, but also in an interview setting, I want you to remember that it's really a human connection that you're seeking, right? It's a group of humans interviewing you, a fellow human. And so you want this process to be a little bit more focused on relationship building and on the, the revealing of who you are as a person over perfection. Perfection is not attainable. It just isn't. And you, you'll slightly misstate things because you're nervous in the interview, or you'll take a moment to think of an example of something. You'll get a date a little bit wrong. All of these things are so normal and so human. And so what I would really encourage you to focus on with your interview process instead is really getting your message across, speaking in language that feels very authentic and, and correct to you. It feels like you, in other words. Uh, and this is especially true if you're doing something like a video interview. Now, these are not my favorite. They're very awkward. Nobody especially enjoys them, but they are very common. And the reason they're so common is that it's a pretty easy way for the, the employers to rule out candidates who simply are not a fit at all. And so what you're looking to do in these video interviews is demonstrate that you've got kind of what it takes to do the job. You speak a little bit of the lingo, depending on if you have a, a field that's very jargon focused or not, that you understand the overall message of the organization. Um, you kind of um, agree with their goals, you're striving for the same things they are, uh, and that you can do the job. So that video interview is often just kind of the basic screen out. So you're not, again, trying to be perfect in it. You're trying to be good. You're trying to be human. You're trying to connect with people as best you can. It's hard to connect with people when there's that filter of the screen. And it's especially hard if you have one of those uh, non-live video interviews where uh, they ask you the questions and you record your answers. This is a very awkward thing. Uh, I totally recognize that. But do try to bear in mind that at the end of that, there's a user, right? There's an end user to your interview. There's a person, several steps removed, but someone is eventually going to watch that video. So just try to be human. Try to be you. Don't freak yourself out about too many things. Just be authentic, normal, be you. And I think you'll find that process a lot easier as you're going through these interviews um, and, and getting recorded and all of that good stuff. So I hope this is helpful to you. And I hope you understand now why you'll hear funny little sounds in my videos. You'll watch me search for a word. You'll watch me flub a few things. I'm really doing that because I don't ever want to send the message that anyone really expects perfection from you. I don't expect perfection from you. I expect you from you. So I hope that's helpful. Have a great weekend. I will see you all next week.